In today's video I'm going to change the oil and filter on my 2017 third generation Mini Cooper D. This is a 1.5 uh, diesel engine that's in this and it takes 4.3 litres of oil according to the Haynes manual. I've already looked out the oil and measured out roughly 4.3 litres. I buy my oil in massive, massive containers so I've decanted it into into the jug there and I'll be using a genuine BMW oil filter. Links to the part numbers will be in the description. So let's um, crack on and get the get the oil out of it. I've already pre-warmed the, the car up, I took it out a slight run and uh, let it sit and tick over for a further five minutes. So I know the engine is nice and hot and the oil will come out quite easily. That's the car suitably held up on axle stands. It doesn't need to be terribly high because it's easy to access the sump plug and the oil filter. With this car you need to access the oil filter from underneath. I'll show you that in just a second. Undo the oil filter and the oil cap. That'll help it drain out. And also I'll take out the, the dipstick. As you can see there, that oil is black. But it's a diesel, they're all black. Right, let's go into the car and we'll have a look at where the sump plug and oil filter is. Underneath the car, we've got the sump drain plug just under here. Now you can either turn, it, turn the little latches with a screwdriver or just use your hands. Just spin them round. This is a brilliant idea because it saves taking off the under tray like what you have to do in other models. And there we have it. There's the sump plug right there. That's a 17mm um, bolt. So we'll get that cracked off and drained off now. Right, that's that more or less um, drained out, a few wee drips in it, and uh, what I'll do now is that tub's practically full, I need to get a bigger one, I'll uh, tip that out and then we'll drain the, the oil filter. Right, that's all the oil uh, drained out that, and I've also emptied the, the tub because it was just about full. So what we'll do now is I'll get the oil filter out here. We'll get it drained off and then we'll we'll drop the oil filter. Right so it's same again. Just undo the little catches. And then drop it. Right, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but we'll get you around. Once you've opened that hatch, you can see the, the oil filters located up there. In the centre of that, um, that nut, there's another nut, and that's your drain. So you want to drain the oil filter off first before you undo the, the housing which um, holds uh, the cartridge. So I'll get a 13mm socket into the centre of that nut and will drain off the the oil that's in the bottom of the filter.
Right, we'll just let that um, drain away. Makes it much easier for uh, undoing the cartridge. Right, now we've got that drained, we're going to undo the the oil filter itself. This is a 32mm um, socket. So if I can find it, there we are, we're on it there. the oil filter. In this kit you'll get a new o-ring for your canister and a new centre plug for the canister as well and you'll also get a, a new copper uh, washer for the sump plug. I'm pretty sure you get this in all the kits. I only use a uh, genuine OEM filters for my cars anyway so um, yeah I'm pretty sure um, you get this in all the kits so let's get the, the o-ring swapped round onto the, the canister and I've also given this a clean out as well comes in handy for peeling that off so we'll bin that and we'll swap it for this nice new seal and obviously try not to get it twisted there we go so that's it on so I'm just checking that that's um, it's not twisted or anything now if you get a little bit of uh, a little bit of engine oil And then just loop it up. That just helps the seal as well. And then obviously your your new um, centre plug. Notice that one's a star eight. So I'll need to get a star a star fitting for that. Right, that centrepiece, it's a, a T55, so I'll just give that a little nip up. Right, that's all it needs, just a nip, don't go daft with it. Right, that's uh, oiled up, filter, we'll stick that back in, like so, and then we'll stick that back in the engine. Right, let's get this filter back into the engine. Give it a little wipe under here where it's uh, had a little spill. Right, 
right that's good to go now we'll get the sump plug back in right we'll get the sump plug back in it now if you want to uh, torque this the torque setting is 25 newton meters well don't take my word for it check your manual Right, there we go. I always like to give things a little wipe down. So that they're clean. Right, uh, I'll, before I fill, before I put these hatches, or well, before I close them over, I'm just going to fill it up with oil and then check it, just to make sure that it's not leaking or anything. According to the manual, it's 4.3 litres of oil. Um, it might take just a smidge more than that because I've let the entire contents come out. These little oil cans are brilliant. If you're interested in getting yourself one, there'll be a link in the description. Um, to where you can get these. Get them from most motor factors anyway. Right, that's about 4.3 litres of oil in it, so I'll let that go down and uh, run the car up, check it for leaks. Right, I've got the car back on on the ground again, so I'll just check the oil. And as you can see there, it's three quarters of the way between minimum and maximum. So I'll probably stick another uh, small bit of oil in it, maybe about half a litre. So I'll do that now and then we'll, we'll check it again. coming up now that's near enough at, at maximum the rest of that oil in there that'll be enough to bring it to the line Right, I'm happy with that, that's almost at the max. So that'll do me. Now to um, 
get this video wrapped up we'll have to reset the service reset light in the car first thing you want to do is switch on your ignition and uh, don't start the engine once you've switched the ignition on press and hold uh, your trip reset button here just hold it for a few seconds and then a menu should pop up we've now got the menu so we're looking for the oil service reset and there it's a uh, reset possible I'll press the button again perform reset press the button once more and the car will now reset the the trip computer for the oil it's as simple as that so guys I hope um, this video has been of interest to you and it uh, gives you an idea of what's involved in doing your oil service on your on your car it just shows you it is possible to do it at home and by doing the oil service yourself you're going to save yourself an absolute fortune the main dealers charge at least 200 pounds possibly more just to do this job so for 50 60 pounds once you buy the oil and the filter um, you can do it yourself well guys if you've made it this far thanks for watching and i'll see you again bye for now